The sold out signs were up at Raven Hill tonight for this top of the table clash. Ulster welcoming many first choice players back after last week's defeat by Munster. Great expectation for the home faithful. But it was the visitors who took the early initiative nine minutes in. The referee penalised Nick Williams. And Alec Thomas comfortably slotted the penalty over. 3 0 to Scarlets. Two ruined Pinar penalties nudged Ulster 6 3 ahead after 34 minutes. And then a couple of minutes before the break, after good work by Luke Marshall on the left, the ball came back inside. Scarlets once again lacked patience in defence. And when the referee blew for a penalty, Pinar was accurate with the boot to make it 9 3 at half time. Just four minutes after the break, the Ulster men cut through the Scarlets' rear guard. Herring timed his pass to Robbie Dyack perfectly, and the South African number six ran under the posts unopposed. Suddenly there was daylight between the sides when Pienaar converted, it was 16-3. Ulster were rampant now, and on 56 minutes they scored their second try of the night. Quick thinking by Williams, close to the Scarlets line, saw the man from Auckland drive over, despite the best efforts of the Welsh defence. 24-3, and that would become 26-3 when Pienaar converted. In the 67th minute, Josh Turnbull broke the Ulster defensive line and charged over for an excellent try. Thomas converted to make it 26-10. Scarlet's joy was short-lived though, and Ulster moved into overdrive. Try of the match in the 73rd minute, Andrew Trimble going through after great work by Heaney, Jackson and Cave in the build-up. 33-10, and three minutes later, Ulster clinched the bonus point with a fourth try, a penalty try, after Alan Thomas's deliberate interception from the offside position. He saw yellow. Ulster were now 40 points to 10 up. With Scarlett's leg weary, there was still time for Ulster to add one more try. Substitute Neil McComb, who'd replaced Dan Tui getting over from close range. 47-10. There was a consolation try for Scarlets right at the death when fresh leg substitute Adam Warren raced through for a smart finish that left it 47-15 and that's how it ended. Ulster reassert their dominance at the top of the table. Final score, Ulster 47, Scarlets 15.